Okay, so we're going to be creating brand new documents. Um, so this is obviously the first stage when you are working in InDesign is to make a new document. So um, we're going to do one for print first. So in your welcome screen here, you can go to create new or you can go to file new document or command or control N. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. So what you need to do is to check your, your intent. So what is the output going to be, print, web, or mobile? So in this case, it's going to be a print document. And it's really important that you choose the intent here because it does change some important settings on the side here. Then what size are we going to go for? So this is going to be a print document. And let's just say that it's going to be A4. Let's keep it convenient. Now you can see that my units of measure on the side here are set to pikers. So that's a print measurement that you don't have to worry about. So ideally it should be millimeters. So just because of my computer setup, it, it hasn't gone to millimeters. So I'm just going to switch to millimeters so that I can see that yes, A4 is 210 by 297. Then the number of pages, I want this to be eight pages. So remember for print, if it's going to be a booklet type print job, remember that it must be in multiples of four. So to a front and inside left and right and a back so your number of pages for a booklet must either be 4 8 12 16 20 24 and so on so we're going to have make it eight pages facing pages because if it's a professional print job it's going to be uh, pages that are going to be printed in double page spreads we don't have to worry about starting numbers and primary text frames um, columns we'll get to columns later when we're dealing with layout at the moment I'll just leave it at one and then margins I'll leave them at the default margins just because I might need to change that on a per uh, spread basis so I'm not I'm just going to leave it at the default um, bleed um, so normally a bleed would be two to three millimeters so I'm going to say three millimeters all around um, the bleed is basically the area around the page that will be trimmed off that any artwork or or um, design that touches the edge of the page must just bleed off by a few millimeters so that when trimming takes place the color actually reaches the edge of the page um, so sometimes you just need to talk to your printer and find out what their bleed requirements are but three millimeters is pretty standard a slug is just an area outside of your design area that contains information that's going to be trimmed off might be your contact details, it might be information about spot colors you're using, it might be um, a deadline for your printer or a quantity of, uh, of print uh, copies that you need done, stuff like that. We'll leave the slug off here. So just to recap, we are going with uh, A4 and portrait, eight pages, facing pages, one column, standard margins, 12.7, um, and then uh, bleed three millimeters and then I'll press create so if I look in my pages panel you'll see I now have an eight page document laid out and it's for print and you'll notice for print if I go to edit and to transparency blend space you can see it's automatically set it to CMYK so we'll be covering a little bit later in this module why that's very important for print so once we've got this done we're going to go to file save as and I'll just put it on my desktop somewhere and I will call it uh, print eight page document the extension is dot indd so print eight page document you're going to include your uh, name and number in there as well and then save okay so that's a print document now what about digital so you can actually go from print to digital so I could go to file documents setup and I could change my intent from print to mobile and notice the way it automatically unchecks facing pages because you shouldn't have facing pages for digital and then I can choose my size let's just say I'm going to go with iPad Pro 12.9 inch so with digital it's always difficult to choose the size because it you know everyone has a device with a different size screen 
so normally you would design for probably the biggest screen experience and then um, scale that down for smaller devices so I'm going to go iPad Pro 12.9 inch um, and then everything else will leave as it is bleed I mean you know bleed is is pretty irrelevant for uh, digital but I'll just leave those all as they are and say oh, and landscape as well well let's leave it portrait just to keep the same as the print and then okay and you'll see now we have individual pages and we have a print document now that's if you're converting your print document sorry you have a digital document from your print document so if you're converting a print document to digital this is the process you'll go through but I'm not going to save this I'm just going to close it without saving and I'm going to go through creating a new digital document so create new mobile let's just save view all presets iPad Pro 12.9 inch when you're working digital you don't want to work millimeters you want to work, work in pixels so that's correct and let's go landscape most people will read um, documents landscape uh, although that's kind of uh, you know it might not be true in some cases uh, but we'll go landscape we'll say eight pages we'll leave columns as they are we'll leave the margins as they are and we'll leave the bleed as zero and then press create yes yeah, so and now we've got an eight page digital document and if I go to edit transparency blend space you can see that it's on RGB so that's important all digital documents need to be in the RGB workspace all right or blend space so now we're going to save that and we'll call this mobile or let's just call it digital digital eight page document I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time